Good morning, Cyber Traders. Happy Monday, everybody, on the first day of the pay period for June. Good to see you all. Good morning. All right. Good morning to you, Mark, Brian, Casey. Good to see you, Albert, Gene, everybody. And welcome, new trial members. We know we have a lot of guys that started on Monday. Hopefully, you guys are going to have a fast new seatbelt because we're going to have a lot of fun. This is where you can actually see where uh, people, other than us, uh, do make money and trade on their own. Remember, it's all about you, not about us. Remember, you're doing this as a career. <laughs> We're just here to teach you how to stop losing money, not just to make money. But good to see you all. Just make sure you talk to education advisors. Uh, before we get started and go through some of the watch list, um, because so far this morning, we had a great day. Uh, great morning, I'm sorry, with the Genta already, the GNCA, that thing, <laughs> early bird gets the money, you know, 8, eight to 12, I mean, come on, guys, if you, got, if you went to 8 to 9, your day should be over already on 1,000 shares, and you can see the stock was $180 stock, stock got literally destroyed, but uh, made a big, big comeback, we'll talk about that in a little bit, but before we do that, uh, upcoming events, just remember, uh, we have Traders Talk every Tuesday. Uh, live Q&A strategy sessions with Josh, basically go over all the lessons and uh, talking about some old things that went over the week and, you know, kind of more or less just answer your questions in detail. There's a, we got open house and then we have a, a big event with Traders Corner coming up. All right, let me go out there and uh, share my screen with some of you here. Let me just give me a second here. I have to change monitors. There we go. All right. So as that's coming up, a couple of stocks, uh, let's just go over what we talked about uh, and what happened on Friday. NTNX was a, a really nice mover. You could see that was probably one of the early bird winners right there. Stock went from 25 to 28.50. You could see that right there up here on the top left-hand side. Great, great pop right there. Some of you guys did really well. GPS, and that's not the thing that's in your car. That is Gap. Gap got crushed. but had a nice little dead dead cap bounce. Remember, when it comes to stocks uh, that make dead cap bounces, as long as it's not a pharmaceutical stock, you know, sometimes these things come back. And SBOT, SBOT was just, here's a stock, got, you know, another $160 stock literally just got, uh, and that's like the high highs. Let me just change it to a daily. But uh, that stock just had a really nice pop in pre-market. Buck sixty all the way to two sixty, another big winner. A couple of people did well. I'm gonna do a couple of shout outs really quick. Let's uh, do a shout out really quick for Neil H. He made a a dollar fifteen on uh, the uh, the GN the uh, GNCA. So already that's this morning. So let me just give him a, let's give him a round of applause. That's, isn't it that great, Neil, to start the morning that way? It's just awesome. And then. Uh, you know, it, it made a couple of them, right? Made a couple of them. Made 71 cents. It made another, uh, was it 69 cents? That's amazing. Great, great, great. Love it. Well, congratulations. And I know a bunch of you guys also did pretty well on the stock. Listen, G uh, GNCA is not your typical level one. Stock is extremely volatile now. It was fun this morning when it had a little bit of a shake right here. Let me just fix this time clock right here. Get a little bit of a better view. But right here around that 8.30 was probably the best. I was I was logged in around 7.30 this morning. I had it up there early this morning. It was at 7. And uh, you could have chased it around 8 when it did a little shake right there. It wasn't that terrible. But then it had that last minute pop and then built a nice little Fausto flag around 9 o'clock. And uh, let me tell you, I was looking at my level 4. See orders everywhere just getting executed. But anyway, I would put a pause on it right now. I would stay away from it because the stock is extremely volatile. Let's just see what happens. It opens up. Give it 5 minutes. There are a couple other stocks, though, which I like a little bit better. Um, let's start off with the CY. CY right here. Uh, oh, here's the buyout right here. So, guys, scratch that one. Don't get caught in a buyout. How do you know it's a buyout? I don't even got to look at the news. You could just see what the stock it did from the uh, previous close. OTLK. This one I like a little bit better. This stock, um, very inexpensive, not a lot. Stock also Good little pre-market trade right there from 250 went to 310. A little bit more controllable. If you look over here on the level three, look at that. Want to talk about an iceberg order? When's the last time you saw a 236,000 share seller at 310? Oh, well, what do you know? No wonder why it backed off, huh? Hey. That's why we do what we do, and that's why we love this job. The telltale window's right there on the right. So guess what? Stock ain't going anywhere until it breaks that resistance. And you know what? 
That could happen. If that happens, the stock could really take off. Remember, the stock took a big hit, but that's got to get through that big, 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 big iceberg order out there. Some of you probably have never seen that before, huh? Hey, you know what was also great? The LK. Now, listen, LK has been a really nice swing trade. This is Starbucks co competitor. It's a Chinese uh, Starbucks. Uh, stock went public, took a big, big hit. It's been doing great, but let me tell you, this stock's really not a day trade. I tried to day trade it. I got a hit a couple of times, very minimal. Uh, I wanted to do a swing trade on it. And you know what? Remember, when you swing trade, you always do five, ten times less versus a day trade. But this stock is not really a day trade. Be very, very careful. They got some nasty shakes in it. Typical, uh, you know, IPOs like that. We saw. Um, and then one last one I want to throw on the watch list: DMPI. This one right here, also huge winner on. Um, Huge winner, but now she's backing off pretty big right here, down 41%. Look at that. We had a stock went from $2 up to $5. You wake up this morning, now it's back down to $2. Talking about a, uh, a short squeeze, I mean, that's what it looks like to me. You know, So that's why you, know, you always hear me say in the room, we trade these stocks. You got to be really careful when they go up really, really fast You know, because they come down twice as fast. So... You know what? Got to be careful when you deal with these stocks. So anyway, uh, not a lot of stocks on a on a on a Monday morning, which is perfectly normal. Listen, if you just got the GNCA, you should be done. I mean, it is gorgeous here in New York. A lot on the colder side. It was a great weekend. You know what? If you made your money, this is what it's all about. It's a part-time job. You can go home and now you don't have to even stick around for the to open. <laughs> if you just got those two uh, nice little two winners. But if you didn't, don't worry about it. Market's opening up. There's always a whole list of new stocks that are coming out. Now, regarding about, uh, like I said earlier, we have a lot of new people that joined the Cyber Group room. We just got three things we have to tell you. Look, listen, and learn. It's our three famous L's. And make sure you talk to the education advisor. And then most importantly, make sure you watch those videos. We know what you're going to say when you first get in there. Like, wow, it's very interesting. I'm, I'm confused. I thought I knew what I was talking about. Trust me, you haven't seen nothing yet. So, you know, um, but remember, a lot of people want to trade doesn't mean they should. And you do it right or don't do it at all. So you got to have the right tools to so sit back and have some fun. In the meantime, everyone, good luck today. Happy trading. You see something, say something. It's Monday. Don't get too cocky. Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays always the best days. But um, but so far, we're starting off the month on a good note. All right, guys. Anything I'm missing I did not call out before we go and get ready for the open? Anything missing? I think we pretty much got them all. Nope. All right. So, uh, you know, and then, like I said, I'm still keeping an eye on that Uber trade. So we'll see we'll see how that works out. All right, everybody. Good luck. See you back at 2.30 for the afternoon meeting. Let's go out there and try to make some money, all right? Trade safe.